Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn about how to calculate the area of geometric figures. So let's start with the area of triangle. Let's create a function. Def is the keyword to create a function. Def, let's say area area of triangle. And inside this function, we will have the logic of area of triangle. So for area of triangle, we need base and height. So the formula for area of triangle is half into base into height. So let's first uh, accept the two values from the user. So base, let's provide a message input, enter base. After that, we will require a height. So height is the variable and here we will say input enter height so once the two values are entered we will need to calculate the area so let's have a variable area and it will be 0 0.5 into base into height so whatever we have accepted here base and height that will be multiplied by 0 0.5 and once we get the result we will print here print area of triangle and then we will have your message area and we will need so this is the end of the function here we will need to call this function so area of triangle let's save this and run now so we'll run this code so here we are getting the message enter base so let's say i enter here 10 enter height 10 so we are getting here error so what does the error says it says type error and the error is on this line 4 which is this formula we have entered here so it says can't multiply sequence by non integer of type float so basically this is float 0 0.5 and the values that we are getting here is of the type string so we need to restrict it to float so let's do that float float and here for height also float let's save this and run now so enter base 10 enter height 10 so see we are getting area of triangle as 50 because 10 into 10 will be 100 and into 0.5 will be 50 so yes we are getting the result now for area of triangle let's have another uh, geometric figure here let's have a square so let's declare area of square now so let's have a function here def area of square area of square and for area of square we need only one value which is the side so let's have a variable side and let's put a message here input enter side and what is the area of square formula so area is nothing but side into side so basically it is a side square so side into side and we will print here the message print let's see area of area of square and then we will print here the area and we will need to call this area of square so let's call area of square let's save this and run now so what it says the oh we forget to mention here the columns rerun now so first message we are getting base because first we are calling the area of triangle so whatever is written inside the area of triangle that will be executed first then the call will be made to area of square so let's enter base as 4 height as 3 so uh, area of triangle is 6 now enter side let's say 4 then why what we are getting here can't multiply sequence by so similar error we are getting here so we need to restrict it 
so let's restrict it to float float rerun the code so enter base phi enter height phi so and enter side for square let's say 3 so we are getting here area of square as 9 so both the functions are executed successfully now but what we want we want uh, that user should be able to select which area he wants to calculate so let's provide here a menu for that how we can do this we will first print a message here print and we will say let's have select your option select your option so we will have this message and after that we will print your print one for triangle one for triangle and two for square two for square so user will enter one of these values either one or two so if he enters one then we will calculate the area of triangle if it enters two then we will calculate the area of square so we need to have the variable here let's have a choice choice and then the message here input enter your choice once the user enter his choice then we will uh, add the condition here so if if that choice is equal equal to one then in that case what we need to do we need to calculate the area of triangle so we will pro provide proper intention here and and if the choice is two if choice equal equals to two then we will say your area of square so let's save this and run now see we are getting a message select your option first for triangle two for square and then enter your choice let's say i enter your two so we are getting the execution of square see a message we are getting here enter side so we will enter here 8 then we are getting area of square as 64 and the uh, process finished and if i try to rerun the code again and let's say this time i enter one area of triangle so i will enter your base 4 height 4 so i am getting area of triangle as 8 what if i enter the wrong choice let's say enter your choice 1 and 2 and i enter something like 7 so what I am getting it is executed successfully because we haven't provided any condition for 7 so the code is getting executed. What I want to do now uh, instead of executing the code or completing the code I want it to ask me again whether I want to calculate any other area or not. So how I can perform this so let's add one more variable here let's have a variable here quant is the variable name and let's have your value as yes and what I will do here while this quant is equal equal to yes I will repeat all these tasks I will print this message I will print this message and the entire thing will be in the while now and if, if the choice is 1 then area of triangle will be calculated if choice is 2 then area of square will be calculated and after executing this the application should ask me like update the value for quant here I will say input say do you want to continue do you want to continue and you should enter either yes or no so if user enters yes then again this whole statements will be executed if the user enters no then the code will uh, like completed so let me rerun the area code now so see we are getting a message let's say i want to have the area of square so enter side phi so we are getting your area of square as 25 so it says do you want to continue let's say i say here yes so again it is uh, asking me the options so that what I wanted to do so I at this time I will enter one triangle so let's say base is 10 height is also 10 then the area of triangle is 50 so do you want to continue this time I say no and see the process is finished
now so in this way you can practice more on different type of applications and define different functions so in this code also you can do enhancement like till now i have only implemented two geometric figures triangle and square you can add more here like rectangle polygon etc so that's it in this video we will cover another topics in next video thank you for watching